The sixth time these two teams have met, first time since the 98-99 season, they've never met in the NCAA tournament, and Pitt leads the series three games to two. And Vern Lundquist, save your goats! Minute, minute. Comes right side. This is Jack Dixon. Now Biggs. DeWan Blair comes out. There's the hedge. Love gets back. And DeWan Blair takes it to the basket. It falls off the rim. And Jason Love has the rebound. Yeah, Blair's got to be careful. He pushed at the end of that sequence. On this show, they're going to attack his leg, Blair. Back to C.J. Anderson, number 20. Left side, B.J. Raymond. Dante Jackson with the feet on the baseline. The shot is short, but the putback, no, it doesn't go. And it's tipped out and taken by Dixon out of bounds, and it was touched last by Xavier. You hate to be simplistic, but rebounding is the key to this game, both ends of the floor. Uh, Pitt is a terrific offensive rebounding team, and Xavier an extraordinary defensive rebounding team. That time, Xavier on the glass on the offensive end. Now, Sean Miller told us yesterday the strength of his team is defensive rebound, and he's worried because Pitt, as Bill just said, the best offensive rebounding team in the country. How about that? Oh, whoa. Brown with a terrific. They ran a double screen, and you saw Dixon going to his right. There's a left-hander, but you don't give up on the play. What a terrific presence. And the ball inbounded now. Dixon has it. Keep your eye on Dewan Blair. Game plan for everybody who plays Pitt is get him in foul trouble. Absolutely. And they're going to run some bodies at him. That was off the front rim by Fields. Ooh, he gets a break here. Uh, Blair is the guy that is fouled. A pretty good check out by Jason Love. Non-shooting foul. It'll be taken out by Pitt. You know, when Fields shoots the ball early in the game, I don't think he's as confident, but coming down the stretch, he's a home run hitter. Well, he had one of the big threes in the win over Oklahoma State at the end of the half and at the end of the game. Here's Anderson at the other end. Well, Anderson loves to go to the rim. He's very tough. Jumper, no good. Love saves it. A nice play. I huh? got it off Blair and fell out of bounds. Uh, the same play we saw against Oklahoma State, little screen, pop to the corner, and Young had hard able to drill it. Sam Young off a 32-point effort, kept uh, Pitt in that first half particularly when he had 23 points in the uh, struggle against Oklahoma State. And you'll see early the scattering report. They just stuck Love into the box area. Blair took him away. Look at these guys rebound. That's another offensive board for Xavier your wings to come down and help out. Uh, they attack Anderson, one of those guys that's a good rebounder. They have a lot of four or five a game rebounders, a number of them. Foul is on Tyrell Biggs, and C.J. Anderson goes to the line. Not his strength. He's a 59% free throw shooter, but cans the first. Uh, he's terrific. Bounce into the rim, and even if they play off him when he's got a jump shot, he considers that a compliment. It gives him a running start to attack the rim. That's what Sean Miller is telling us. Very successful trip for Xavier. Two for two. Here's LeVance Fields. Was it you that called LeVance pudgy, or was that... No, no, no. Oh, that right. was our graphics oh, guys. Okay. I just those, those are the uh, well-documented guys in the truck. And what happens there is Young goes to the rim, takes blue shirts with him, and Blair able to clean it up. He didn't look over this during warm-ups. I thought this was something you said. Don't you ever let LeVance Fields think that I called him pudgy. Well, you've had a few Oreos in your day. I know that. <laughs> Oh, so it's going to come early tonight, huh? Okay. Here's the jumper that's off the front rim. B.J. Raymond spot up three, okay. and it will not fall. Another offensive board. And stepping into threes, they dodge one with Raymond. Anderson in the lane. Tough shot, huh? Fading away a little bit. Yes. <laughs> B.J. Raymond ties it up 4-4. Now Dixon. Love guarding Blair. And Raymond, uh, uh, big wingspan, too, on Dixon. Look at easy looks. Blair wants it low post. No oh, steal. Wow, right Tyrell out. Biggs. Three on one. Anderson in the corner. Raymond in and out again. Oh, the other way. Yeah, that's just Jason Love chasing it down. 
Uh, not a good one, particularly early. That's number two, I believe. It is number two. Now Holloway is going to come in. Kenny Fries, the seven-foot freshman. As we mentioned at the outset, this uh, Sean Miller's team, nine guys, ten minutes or more per game. They do go deep. Mm -hmm. and, and Holloway changes the speed of the game. Though. He pushes it. He reads things on the defensive end as well. So you brag it feels now. Yeah, this is Holloway, the six-foot guard. Fields the 5'10 guard for Pitt. Biggs. Love is out. Freeze is on now because of the two fouls. Nice move by Dixon. Freeze blocked it. And it touches him. Yep. Good call. Dixon couldn't get away from it, but Freeze, a presence. The last game they said, hey, it's the NCAA step up. He was solid. And right here just continues to attack. And at that point, Blair's got to create a passing lane. They didn't do a good job. Got frozen behind the big fellow. That is the second block in the early going. Xavier, poor shooting start. They're one of eight. There's Holloway, whips it to Freeze, and a foul is called on Tyrell Biggs. That's his that? second. And, and Vern, a lot of guys use that screen on the side with an empty side. So Freeze, once he catches it, doesn't have traffic, can do some damage. He's a great looking prospect for a young guy. That brings Gilbert Brown onto the floor quickly. Brown, the sophomore from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and Kenny Freeze is at the line. That's a bonus. He's a 47% free throw shooter. Biggs out, Brown on. Because when you see Brown come on the floor, it's a different type of game. He's a little more explosive than Biggs. Biggs is a straight up, set up jump shooter from two and three. Freeze cans two. And Xavier is up by two. Well, Freeze not known as a great free throw shooter either. Those are beautiful strokes. Fields, Gilbert Brown. Yep. Nice defense. Tries to find, yes, how about Jackson? Absolutely. With the denial, that was terrific. Uh, great read, you can see the scattering report. They know the plays. Both of them run a lot of similar sets. Here's Freeze. Blair gets back. Jumper for three, yes. Boy, did they look loose and ready. Jamie Dixon. Feels it himself, ball movement, stepping into jump shots, and a tardy reaction on the defensive end by Pitt. Dante Jackson cans the three. It's a five-point Xavier lead. Well, they look loose and ready, don't they? Woo! On fire. Thus, the timeout. All right, Greg, thank you. The athletic director at UConn, Jeff Hathaway, is uh, present at this site as a member of the selection committee. He's had kind of a busy couple of days. Oh, boy. Of course, I heard Jim Calhoun speaking at the press conference, and uh, Jeff felt that he answered the way it should be. They're doing their own investigation, and we'll see what comes out of that. Entry pass, Sam Young, jump stop. How about the job How long? How long? by McLean? Yeah, he had, wow, here's Gilbert Brown. This is to Young Corner. <laughs> We'd have to pay extra in our hotel room if we stayed that long. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> <Goodness. laughs> ha, Count. They only got away with it. Well, now they front Blair, B.J. Raymond. They're going to call Raymond. So that's what's interesting. They get different guys that can play that post yeah. defense. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, Sean Miller said we're going to run bodies at him all night. Time call. We'll be right back. Sean Miller with deep ties to Pitt University. He played there as an outstanding point guard. 87 through 92, he was the Big East freshman of the year. Second team all Big East his senior year. Got the Panthers into two tournaments, 89 and 91 and finished his career as the all-time assist leader. He's currently in second behind one of the Pitt assistant coaches, Brandon Knight. Yeah, just a, a fun kid to be around when he was a college player. Ran the offense, nice inbounds pass again. They get a clean look. That's the second time, this time Brown from Fields along the baseline. Boy, they do have a variety of really excellent out-of-bounds. Well, they sure do. They were looking for a screen. They just spread. And nice block here by Blair. Yes. Freeze has got a pump. Brown is there quickly. Here's LeVance Fields. This is Wanamaker who can can that shot. Long rebound. And it's picked up by Holloway for Xavier. Oh, not a good look there for a good player, you know? Fields with Jackson back. Nice look. The feed to Young. Yes. Boy, what an acknowledgement by sprinting the floor by Young. Always under control and Fields, he can find you with the best of them. Now Fields seems energized as he picks up Holloway defensively. High screen, dribble in the lane, and another strong rebound by Gilbert Brown. Nice pull up by Holloway though. Tied at nine. Oh, beautiful. Nice and the dish. 
And Blair, I don't know that Blair was really expecting that. I don't think so either. And Freeze hanging tough on him. And Brown can make that deep three. That's why they're playing him on the, perif uh, the perimeter there. I would go with the Freeze, see if Blair gets a foul. CJ Anderson taken away again. Give it up. This is Wanamaker. He's got fields. Takes that, it all the way. That play should be a charge, though. Goodness. Give it up. They're going to score the goal and yes. give a chance for three. And this is a play that you should give it up. Your teammate fills the lane. Right here we got the... And then the wing being filled by a guy who feeds everybody. He serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner for Pitt. It could end up being wiped down going the other way. Uh, I'm not sure what the conversation to hear. Rick Hartzell saying something to Wanamaker. I don't know whether there were words exchanged or not. Yeah, Wanamaker should have really done a better job in the open floor. Maybe he did say a wolf after. Wanamaker to make this a three-point play and give uh, Pitt a three-point lead. Shove the in the way. back. Yep. And a silly one, really, for Young. Sam Young gets it. Watch exclusive video of Amen Corner Live, plus 15 and 16 live, and bonus coverage of the entire field with Masters Extra. I feel like I should lower my voice here at cbssports.com <laughs> slash Masters Live and Masters.com. Go to the golf announcers. Well, well, of course, that's the cathedral to me going no. down there. It's such a beautiful place. Not a bad way to you got a pretty, pretty good seat, don't you? Enter spring. Yeah, they can put my body at 16 forever, as far as I'm concerned. Into the corner it goes. Tough shot. Yes. Put back is no good. They're missing in close opportunities here. But boy, they're doing a great job. And this is the step in that they're so good at. Nice rebound by Love. Love. And let's see who this gets. Ah. The big guy, Blair, I believe. Yeah. Got his arm in there. Boy, they are relentless, aren't they? They got big bodies. The wings are big. It's on Dewan Blair. We'll document the foul situation with him all night long. He's fouled out of three games this year, and quickly Dixon's going to go to his bench and bring on Gary McGee. And Gary McGee's a guy that's going to be a real good player. Tommy Hurry, one of the assistants, was saying he works hard. He's a great kid. He really understands, and they bring people along in the second and third year. Here's Brown. Got it. If there is a surprise, Bill, in the early going, Offensive rebounding by Xavier, eight to four. It's amazing, extraordinary. Also, Raymond with that length able to elevate over people. You're right, they're just crushing them on the glass. Wanamaker, Gilbert Brown, Young, Buck. And at the pump fake. Yes. Give us a pump fake. Extraordinary. Well, he could do that because his puppies were set. Yeah, they, he was organized, you're right. Oh, uh, been hanging around too long. <laughs> You wasted it's, your time. It's contagious. This is where he is tough. Anderson doesn't do the job that trip, but very good around the rim. Nice find. And another foul. This is on McGee. And this team cross courts the ball beautifully. And at the other, getting organized, it's so important. Getting your feet set before the defender can get out. Takes the long route and pays for it. And that's where Young bites you. You know he's pretty good mid-range around the rim, Vern, but if you delay it, don't get out. He counters with that tray. Love is shooting two. A pretty good free throw shooter, too. Yes, he is. Strong with that at 80%. Sean Miller going back to his bench. C.J. Anderson is out. Brad Redford, a freshman out of Frankenmuth, Michigan, a terrific shooter. He's only averaging five per game, but boy, we watched him in the shoot-around yesterday, and he kind of owned it. Effortless. I mean, just yeah. extraordinary. Now, have you been to his hometown? I have not. It's called Little Bavaria, mm -hmm. right? It's near Saginaw. No, you haven't been on a cruise in that direction. No. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not quite cruise worthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but it's it's no for it's Christmas. Yes, uh, yeah, it's a town of five thousand. Frankenmuth, and he averaged. This is him defensively now. Averaged thirty six points per game and was named Mr. Michigan Basketball last year. And, and worthy of this kid can really fill it up and drag the defense. And Ashton, who's playing now, Gibbs can shoot it from deep too. That's why they're hugging him. Five on the shot clock. McGee was loose underneath. And the rebound, Holloway, and Xavier's going to run it. Here's Brown. 
Yeah, look at nice this pass. There we go. Well, he's hitting 47% from three this year, and he misses the first one. Brown. Where are you going? Wow. Didn't have any idea. And, I, and they get freeze on this one. Boy, great ball move by Xavier Dover. 11.42 to go, first half. Hit by two. Okay, Greg, thank you. It's a 14-12 game here, and really horrible shooting by both teams, particularly Xavier. Well, they're struggling around the rim. They're doing a good yeah. job on the glass, but not converting, and, and that has hurt them. And occasionally a, a kick-out jumper where they're stepping in. Three of 19 for Xavier in the game. There's another good clean look on an out-of-bounds play. Yes. Jimmy Dixon's going to make money in clinics <laughs> on an out-of-bounds play. And Xavier tardy in their response three different times. Hit by four. Back outside to Redford. Holloway. Redford and Holloway, the guards now for Xavier. And McGee, a nice matchup with Freeze. You know, to give Blair a blow, push the clock, don't get that second one. Little spin move. A nice defense by Young, but he gets over it. I thought he may have walked. Switch pivot feet. And that tells you the elevation of Raymond to shoot over people. Levance Fields. Guarded by Holloway. Holloway wears guys, don't they? Nice There's show. The switch, yep. Gilbert Brown, jump stop, short. Couldn't quite control the offensive board. DeWan Blair still on the bench. Gary McGee is out there. Whoa! Mm. How about that? Well, if you stand still, he'll freeze you with that move. This kid understands post offense it all started with redford's activity on defense loosen the ball and they got a run out young brown whoops i was going to help out there not not his fault shouldn't have been passed to him coming up on at and in the half greg and company will take you out for a look at purdue versus yukon and they'll get you caught up on the latest tournament news plus an at and Naismith watch update that's all coming up on AT&T at the half. They got to knock the ball out of bounds from their baseline out of bounds plays. They've been so efficient and nice screen to get it to the block. McLean in there. That's him with another offensive board. Back outside. Brown all the way. How about that for your big guy? Started his career seldom shooting the deep one. And now he steps out, can beat you, and put it on the deck as well. Xavier with six unanswered, and Sean Miller going to his bench again. He's going to send two fresh bodies on. Fields. Nice defense. Was it ever. Holloway. There he is. Yeah, there you go. He's got a tough-minded outlook. Pitt's having some matchup problems. They're not able to cope all over the floor. Nice look. How about that? Whew. McLean on the entry pass from Holloway. Holloway with a terrific look. Great selection of the entry. Fields looks over at Jamie Dixon. Gets some instructions. Nine to go first half. Blair right to the rim after the screen. Blair back on the floor. Should go to Xavier. Good call. It does. Uh, the understanding went to put it on the deck, and how about to send it in at the end? And then the slip after the screen. A terrific maneuver by a great looking prospect, Jamal McLean. Xavier by one. Anderson. This is McLean. Look at this ball screen slip to the empty side and a screen. Oh, out. wow. Young defending from the corner. No good. Blair has it. Brown floats into the corner left side. Very great balance by Xavier. Not giving him run outs. Fields, tough shot. Another good one by him. Got to run the offense. Here's Anderson. He'll dribble to the rim. That's his game. What do they say? He never takes a shot unless he can touch the net. Isn't that amazing? Look, here, look at this. They step and ball reverse. Skip pass and step it in B.J. Raymond. 42% uh, from three. What a solid kid. 
Second time in the first half, Dixon calls a timeout. Back in Boston with a little ball reversal. And Vern, they've done a great job all game long. We've been commenting. They understand where to throw the ball. They're not afraid to go cross court, but just look at the rotation. Late, get those feet organized and drill a little nylon. And uh, Raymond has mentioned 46% overall, but 42 from three at six foot six, he can plumb bob. B.J. Raymond, one of the stars of last year's tournament run for Xavier. They defeated West Virginia in this same game a year ago in overtime. Raymond had eight points in that overtime. Wow, dangerous skip pass. Well, one, and three, one. threw it out of bounds. Now Sean's doing all the wrinkles. He went 1-3-1 one, one zone, threw them a little change, weren't ready, weren't organized, thus the turnover. Levance Fields is number two in the country in assist to turnover ratio. That one was a negative. Back in Boston, Xavier on an 11-3 lead. And they've taken a four-point edge. 7.44 to go. I think the bottom line there, Bill, is the big one. Offensive rebounds. Well, they've just been terrific. And uh, converting them has been a little bit of a problem. But stepping in for threes, they're playing loose confidently. Ball reversal sensational. And Pitt's got to get energized to get going. Xavier started three of 16 from the field, but they have hit five of their last seven. They're up by four. Raymond off the mark. Organized play off the timeout. Two ball screens. They ended up with a deep jumper. Sam Young grabbed the rebound. LeVance Fields has it. It's Fields, Gilbert Brown, Young, Dewan Blair, and Dixon on the floor for Pitt. It's top seed. It's going to be tough for Gibbs to get a look as of Raymond's long arms and size. Raymond, 6'6", 225. And here's a stagger for Gibbs. Well, they do play great defense, don't they, Xavier, right now? Blair, discard, jumper, no. Shot clock violation. Great set. Near the end of tonight's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Learn more about Chevy Innovations at Chevy.com. They want to make her in now. They switch. Uh, Dixon goes over for, on Jackson. Xavier's presented a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. They're just matchups. The ability for Biggs to stretch out. Uh, Dixon and Rick Hartzell are having an extended and somewhat emotional conversation. Hartzell, the official. Well, the relationship go, could go way back. You never know. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the player with a nice show and then we cover on Freeze. Freeze should lock him and attack him. Six and a half. Here's Holloway, six foot guard. Blair out, now gets back on Freeze. Oh, tough shot. Yeah, nice yeah. challenge by Fields. Not what they wanted. Only four on the shot clock, so you can understand a little bit. Almost through the Charles River. Pittsburgh Xavier, the second game here, Duke and Villanova. That one, 30 minutes after the conclusion of this, Xavier leads Pitt 23 19. As you mentioned, the Charles River, that's as close as I got to Harvard. <laughs> nice power and freeze, holds his ground. Blair's had a very, very quiet first half. He has. Had the one foul, got a little bit of a rest, but he just doesn't elevate. You can see right here, that's a big body to bring up. Uh, was Freeze there with a little bump as well. Solid team. Four blocks for Xavier, one for Pitt. Nice drop step. Brown, yes. But he owns him right now. Derrick Brown, the junior out of Dayton. And it is a six-point lead, largest of the ball game. Boy, they empty that side. He can go to work, Brown. Ooh, Luke Young is stripped. Like, yep. They got Jackson, I think, maybe. I just love this. Now watch this, and there's nobody there to help. So you're all alone if you're young. And a little, a little smooch at the end, Vern. Solid and growing in his confidence. What a and job they've done with this program. Oh think my of it gosh. Going, going way back, right? Bob well. Stack, Skip, Pete Killen, Skip Prosser. There's that pump. Young. Woo. Yes! How about that? That'll make you pay for raising your eyebrows. 
Everybody knows it, and they still go for it. Well, Young had that brilliant first half against Oklahoma State last week in Dayton with 23 points. He's carried Pitt as far as they've gone so far. He's got 11 in this game. Five minutes to go first half. And they got to take advantage of Fields now. They try. It's nice play by Fields. And yes. Blair behind. Now Blair guarded by Jason Love. Here's Fields with the drive. Oh, and one. Now, he doesn't look quick, but that was explosive. I mean, he's like one of those running backs you really don't know how quick he is until he's by you. Uh, the burly look, or as you said, punchy, but the ability to get a guy to elevate. You can see the interior defense. Everybody's staying at home because this team is real basic. Keep the guy in front of you. And look at this adjustment away from traffic. A little left out of Brooklyn. Well, Fields, the well-documented tailbone injury sustained against Marquette. That he evolved into a sports hernia. He missed two full weeks of practice, did not miss a game. But uh, I, I think we both noticed a little lack of, of aggressiveness from him. Yeah, he wasn't as smooth for right. one thing, right? They didn't have the speed or the, the quick first step and slowly. And they're bringing it back to get a little blow now. Gibbs on the floor for him. One point margin, Xavier, 435 to go. First half. Gibbs did a good job on Redford. He did not let him get a touch. One week from tonight on CBS, if you thought the first 199 episodes of CSI were killer, wait till you see number 200. I was trying to decide if I was one of those. <laughs> TV's number one drama returns next Thursday on CBS, America's most watched network. That will be Xavier Ball. Yeah, nice hustle by Blair on that denial. I think I overpronounced that, don't you? It should be. I said killer. I think it's killer. Oh, okay. okay. CSI, you were a star in one of those. Uh, well, you and so I had the highest rated episode last year, CSI New York. Well, Gary, I think it was because of our presence. Though. Gary and I are very tight. <laughs> and right now, Xavier's very tight. Look yes. at this split, huh? Short and a rebound. Offensive board. Raymond, long rebound, tipped. Wanamaker, no numbers. Doesn't matter. Well, they're going to get the foul way before, I think. I thought he was probably, Bobby did not have a point in that Raymond, it looked like. Boy, that was an explosive move by Wanamaker. Whoa. But those long rebounds, right, they're money. you got to get them. And Xavier hustling and kicking him back out, getting great open looks. Second foul on B.J. Raymond. Derek Brown's going to come back in. Kenny Freeze. At, uh, that's a revolving door on that Xavier bench. Well, with confidence and yes. with talent, too. It's not just keeping the, the parents happy kind of a deal, you know? The Wanamaker's got a free. I, I'm thinking to what Sean Miller said to us yesterday. They started out, Xavier did 20 and 2. They were devastated by Duke. But he said, I don't think we were ever as good as the 20 and 2 record would let you think. Mm -hmm. And he said, We finished 5 and 5. I don't think we were as bad as the 5 and 5 record. And, would lend you to think. and he said in practice it started to pick up a little bit right. and then the first couple of games in the NCAA uh, playing with a lot more confidence and I think league play has its impact and people are ready for you they know you Wanamaker has a Xavier team 27 and 7 for the year whoa the Jackson he can rank somebody can he and Jackson did a nice job very impressive this kid Down screen and cross screen. He has not been able to do much, Anderson, but he loves this kind of play. That's there his game. It is. Uh, first of Manhattan, and then back home in Cincy. He can be electrifying around the rim for an undersized forward. CJ Anderson spent two years at Manhattan with the Jaspers and uh, Bobby Gonzalez. Wanamaker. Tipped. 27-25, C.J. Anderson close to the rim for two. Xavier by two with 3.34 to go before the first half. Break Sam Young with 11 points so far. Uh, Sam's one of those silent guys that just steps up when they need him. The spread on the out-of-bounds, the running to the floor, his ability to get organized outside, and his athleticism at the 10 is extraordinary. And right now, they've got to step it up a little bit. You know, Xavier, I think, has played well enough that they should be considerably ahead. Sam Young told you after the game last week that he was going to do a backflip to celebrate, right? 
And right. then Louisville and Siena took the floor, and he couldn't do it. Right, they, they, they ruled his little uh, opportunity in a run out, Burn. Uh, two on one. Give it. Into the corner, spot up three. Look at this foot back, up. no. And Blair gets a rebound. Now you can see the early offense, the ability of Derrick Brown to attack. There's Freeze Fields. Back outside, Dixon. Fade away. Yes. Uh, that's terrific. Is he when he came in? He liked the deep one. Now he's got a middle game. Gotta get up. At the other end, here's Anderson. Brown for three. That's their game. In the early offense, they push. And the big guy who seldom, I think he took seven or eight his first year threes. He is prepared and they kick it to him. Seven points for Brown in the early going. Xavier by three. A little cheeky. A little nickel dimer here <laughs> in the high rent neighborhood of Boston. But right back here, it doesn't look like he can do any harm. But because of his penetration, all the white shirts get into the middle lane. And that southpaw delivery. Butter. Wanamaker at the line for Pitt. Thirty twenty-eight. Well, this uh, this really is reminiscent of what we saw from Pitt in their two wins last week in Dayton, East Tennessee State University and Oklahoma State. And, and I hark back to Dwan Blair saying to both of us that you know we just win. You know, and sometimes it doesn't look like we played well, but we understand how to win. And uh, this is one of those games that and their tough-mindedness is certainly going to have to commit to play. They're showing not happy with the way they started their set. Change the look. Anderson, freeze. Derek Brown, number five. Oh, 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 oh he he accidentally. Uh, yep. Oh, brother. Yeah, they ran a diagonal, and just the motion confused the pit defenders, and that was supposed to be the freeze. Dante Jackson says thank you very much and puts it in. Young. Tough Just to, a little sloppy. Yeah, and they're tough to dance against this AV team. Wanamaker. Just a little sloppy. Yep, they are. Mm -hmm. They're as organized as they would like to be. And I think it's the just the great screen in here sets it up. And as the two defenders get confused, you can see Jackson, whoa, thank you very much. Well, if you're a Pitt fan, you've got to be a little concerned. That's seven turnovers, and they have lost the battle on the offensive glass. This is Dixon, I believe. Look to right down underneath. Yeah, it's his first. He's got his hands full playing Raymond. Raymond's very active, moving out the ball. And again, the way they cross court the ball, they get open looks. That is only the 16 foul on uh, on Pitt. Jackson. How about this? That's their squeeze box play. They get two and they pinch you as you cut two. Oh my. He's got oh, he's conscious. I don't know. He, he can do it, for him. This kid is a confident deep shooter. 44%. Second team, Atlantic 10. Huh. And it's back to a six-point margin that equals the largest lead that Xavier has had. And look at Fields being ranked. He's got to get it off the deck. Very lucky here. Little runner in the lane, poorly taken. It's out of bounds. It will be pit ball. Well, you put it on the floor, you can't score. Particularly with two or playing one, but uh, this is the problem. You've seen him put it on the deck going right and left to a spin and a kiss shot, and now he owns the defender with the deep one. Inbounds, Blair. There's Freese. No call. Is that blocked? That's five blocks. And Freese goes right to the rim. Final minute, first half. Well, Xavier's been able to run their offense efficiently, hit the glass, hit totally out of sync. Anderson, want to make her defending. About three spin moves and then off the glass. He's so confident around the rim. He just maneuvers people. He's got some strength, deceptively so. They're going to switch the D here. Looks like a 1 3 1 again. They caused the turnover for Pitt the last time they did this. He may end up in a corner jumper, but be careful of the offensive rebound.
Ten to go. Fields back outside. Dixon for three. No, sir. Young. No, sir. Tip. What a solid half by Xavier. Not on top of his game in the first half. But uh, Dewan Blair told us he uh, has not shaved since the tournament began. I don't think he wants to take a razor out this quickly. No, no I would agree with you. He took the pipes off the arms. Uh, maybe that's indicative of some serious work. Anderson around the basket. Blair, there's another offensive board. That's 20. How about that? I mean, uh, 12, I beg your pardon. It was obtained by number 20. Raymond, Blair with a rebound. And, you know, a lot of ball screens have enabled them to get to the rebounding area with a smaller guy or on a good angle. So Pitt's going to have to do a better job sticking people. Xavier with a steal. You can rag somebody, Jackson. As well. Bounce pass. Kick it back outside. Guess who? Oh, that was tough. Yes. What a clean look. Down and out. Here's Fields. And Anderson found them again. He did that earlier. Xavier started out 3 of 16 from the field. Wound up the half 11 of 19. And now the strong move. Well, it's not too early to beat this drum. In the Sweet 16, the last eight seasons, Pittsburgh in five times. But they have never advanced beyond this round. Two years ago, lost to UCLA in Sweet 16. In 04, lost to Oklahoma State. And under Ben Howland in both 02 and 03, they lost respectively to Kent State and Marquette. And psychologically coming in and something in the back of their mind, I, I don't know if it impacts now. They are lethargic, at least from the first half, I, uh, watching them perform. And you know that's why I think Fields is the kind of guy that time he's trying to get to the rim, get to the free throw line. Let me do it. I'm come up empty. But let me try and do some positive things. And a slow start for Pitt. This Xavier team has been physical, haven't they? They have, and I think they've, uh, the concern maybe coming in is that they weren't as tough-minded. Well, they have stepped up, and that's one thing Sean Mellon said to both of us. We've got to match the physicality. They have and surpassed it. Anderson, nope. And then Blair just wraps his arm. Anderson, a little upset he didn't finish that one. Well, he just backed everybody under the rim. Foul is on Anderson, his second. Well, Pitt climbed back into this. They trailed by as many as eight. They got back to 30-29. And then Xavier ended the half on a 7-0 run. And Fields can't get into it with Dante Jackson because he's a terrific defender. Just run the stuff. Nice duck in, and that's where he's toughest. Blair, love with the defense. And one. He plays under the rim, doesn't he? And we can certainly relate to that. But the wide body just enables him to control people. And normally he would convert this, but he just didn't get enough oomph on that left hand. But the pursuit and maybe the energy level necessary to beat this fine Xavier team. That is the third foul on Dante Jackson. He stays on the floor, but only for uh, a couple of seconds. Free throw lows. Blair's not a particularly adept free throw shooter. 63% for the year, so they missed their first three from the line. Jackson. It all starts on this end, Vern, if you want to get back in the game. Here's no. Kenny Freeze. Got to work hard. Had a great defensive first half with four blocks. Jumper blocked. Dixon. Nine on the shot clock. There he is around the rim again. And that's off Anderson. He misses from short range. Are you as mad as a drink with real Coke taste and zero calories? Prove it. Upload your videos at tastethemadness.com and get mad famous. And right now, Sean Miller, uh, defensively, his kids have been mad. They've done a great job. Holloway now has the task of containing LeVan's fields and pressuring him, getting them out of their offense. Nice front by Raymond to help out Freeze. There's Freeze. Look at this. Oh, it crawls Raymond. over the rim. How about the little English on that one? A little pizzazz. A little Willie Moscone.
That was a different generation ago. I know that. <laughs> I was going to come back and grand sort of fats. Yeah, well, that would be, at least it was a movie, right? A great pool player that I heard about. Ah, uh, yes. Nice. Freeze. Tipped. Tyrell Biggs. Here's Lamance Field. They're much tougher defensively. Back outside, Dixon for three. Young offensive board. Jumper, yes. You know, that's what you love about this kid. The offensive rebound, but also, and I think Sean might be calling the timeout. He sees a different pit team out here. Let's see. He's going to run the set now. Uh, but just that medium range jumper. Yeah, he is furious. And at Brown, and this time in particular, time called Savior. Little uh, more energy shown by. Pittsburgh here in the second half than we saw in the first. Bringing it now, getting after it, and an offensive rebound, part of that. The defense was extraordinary, and a very difficult shot by Young. This medium ranger, very tough angle. Tendency to pull a string. See what Xavier comes back with, Burn. Xavier has missed its first six shots of this half. Recall they started the game three of 16, and then improved dramatically. Here's Kenny Freeze. Nice defense again. Yes, it was. Doubled up and then the deflection. And lead by Young. Four turnovers in the ball game for Xavier. Well, There's Claire. Away. He got away. Yeah, he did. He sure did. He gave the old body rub. He cleared out the beach. Here's Reese. Jumper short. And look at his offensive rebound again, but the hands once again. Is yes. Young. Reese took it away. And there's Fields. He's got two at the other end. He finds one of them. That's a pretty good find. And a pretty good catch. Yeah, the finding that guy uh, shows your intelligence. Young with the finish. And we are tied. Holloway, there's Blair. Boy, the hands are all over, aren't yes. they? Yes. Great deflection. What a difference in two halves. For this Pittsburgh team, Fields. No. Going for it all early. Too early. Yeah, you know, I think he could just run some yeah, set. Yeah. And then Jamie just went, just relax a little bit. Slow it down. But look at you said finding the proper guy leads to success. Pit style. We are back in Boston. Five Big East teams reached the round of Sweet 16. No SEC teams in the Sweet 16. First time in 20 years. And seven coaches still in the tournament who won a national title. One of them who is not on that list is Jamie Dixon. Another Sean Miller. Love wants it. Blair, a little aggressive in that low post area. Here's the shot for three. No. Now they're looking for him to knock him down, but the hands are so active by Pitt, particularly early in the second half. Entry pass. Young, no. Rebound, C.J. Anderson. Xavier, they still haven't hit a field goal in this half. And that drought oh. continues. Blair, Blair, six rebounds in this half for Blair. Fields is fouled by Redford. Well, he was trying to take over, isn't he? He showed some speed. Uh, Pitt is not a running team, Vern, but Blair with a great kick out. Uh, sort of reminiscent of Wes Unsel with the ability to shorten the floor. And you just see how explosive he is. And you mentioned early on, no groin problem, no coccyx bone problem. A little quicker afoot. Boy, he is struggling at the free throw line. But Vance Fields at the line. He shoots one more, just missed one. And if this is successful, it will be his first free throw of the night. Pitt now 5 of 11. And this is the first lead for Pitt since they were up 16-14. And they were down by eight at the half. And they, they started, they were in a waltz in the first half. Now they're in a rumba. Uh, the hands are active. Great defensive play and also rebounding much better. Look at this. Look at this. Here's Brown. He's got Young. Whoa, he carried. No, he didn't carry it. I thought, sure, he had traveled. Well, he looked like he was going to bring that left one more dribble at Woodward. Yeah. Burn. Pitt, the top seed, has never advanced to the round of the Elite Eight. Fifth time they've been in the Sweet 16 I got in up. this decade. They're looking like at the offensive pick, and I believe it's on Brown. An empty trip. And something they've been talking about all year long. Any movement on screens, and they got him. Ashton Gibbs comes on, and Levance Fields will rest. 
Xavier was up 37-28 at the break. They've yet to find the basket in the first six minutes and five seconds of this half. Jackson, McLean is on. And this is the guy they like to ride. I mean, he can play a lot of positions on the floor. This is going to be a tough shot. Not tough enough for him, though, huh? Good poise and balance for the delivery. First basket of this half for the Musketeers of Xavier. They saw a, an eight-point halftime lead disappear. They're now back up by one. Wanamaker. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, not much love shown there. This stain was more like it. Oh, get it out of here. Uh, it's not Bill Russell, but that kind of imprint in this place, at least the old building that was supposed to guard. Yeah, the old garden. This, by the way, the, the parquet floor was taken out of here. This is an NCAA floor. It was installed yesterday. <laughs> There's the pump fake. And Young is going to go to the line as Brown picks up the foul. And every assistant coach is going crazy. The pump they bite. And the ability to step it up. The hands we mentioned, the deflections, the opportunity baskets on runouts because of excellent position. But how about the hands and the aggressive play? And now the look up and Young in the open floor. A different personality right now by Pitt. Young shoots one more. We're tied at 39. Substitution Xavier, C.J. Anderson coming back on. John Miller goes back to his bench. And what he does for an I think he's the toughest guy on the floor around the basket. Uh, he just gets in position to do some things and creates help. And the weak side can rebound if he hasn't been able to finish. Dante Jackson, Derek Brown, Love. There's Jackson again, Gilbert Brown. On the, or Gilbert Brown now defending. That's Ashton Gibbs, number 12. Oh, he's got some moves around the basket. He sure does. And look at these guys go after. This time Blair seals it. Blair had four rebounds in the lethargic first half. He's got seven in this half. He doesn't want to save her. There's the nice find in the short shot by Blair. A great entry, though. Little dive to the box with a bump. Uh, not a good foul. He'll get one or two of those with a hand hedge a game. That's his second in this one. Friends and family are heading to Harper's Island for a celebration. What they don't know is that there's a killer among them. The mystery event premieres Thursday, April 9th on CBS. And Vern, Jamie Dixon is doing a really good job. Fields, they got back in the game with a lot of energy. It dissipated a little. He took Fields out. Now Blair getting a little bit of a blow, plus with that second foul, just to calm them down. They're in touch now. Now they just have to be solid. Well, that foul uh, difficulty for Blair has usually dictated problems for Pitt. Each time he's fouled out the three times this year they've lost. He's also had four other games where he had four fouls. And here's that diagonal to get it to the box, but it did some good things. Raymond, yes! Right there. Good use of the glass. All by design. Xavier back up by one. Tough oh shot. my gosh. Yeah, that's one of those, see, now that's a yeah. couple of this half he's taken. Yeah, you know, you got to give him the license, too, for making a good judgment. How about this, huh? Get it around the rim. Xavier doing the right thing early. Been pretty competitive. Nine ties, nine lead changes. Xavier up by one right now. Pitt, of course, the top seed representing the Big East. Villanova's going to play in the second game here. The Big East had three number one seeds. UConn leading out in Glendale, Arizona right now. And Louisville plays tomorrow night. Syracuse against Oklahoma tomorrow night. It's been a very successful year for the Big East. Competitive as we saw during the course of the season. And right now Xavier giving Pitt everything they can handle. Now they have been solid and nice response on drives. Uh, they have so many people that can hurt you. Foremost, Brown. Terrell Holloway, here's Anderson. Up shot. Yeah, sure was. They like him around the rim. I think that was a little bit of a force. Had a chance for Pitt to reclaim the lead. 
Fields. He's taken a couple of wild shots recently. That one, Sam Young tries to track it down. Derek Brown has it. And Brown, there's Fields to take the charge, and he flopped. A real nice piece of officiating, don't you think? Yes, it was. Let it go. Fields started tilting to the south before the body ever got there. He's not a leaning tower. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's giving up early. I don't blame him. But nice body control by Burke Brown as well. The run out ball screen. Very tough to handle. There's Freeze with the switch. And he leaves his guy. Never leave the ball. Got away with it. Offensive board, Brown. They've narrowed that deficit now, the offensive rebounds. Pitt has missed its last seven shots. And Fields injured. Either that or some blood. I'm not sure which. Well, when he took the... Uh, when he attempted to take the charge. Let me put that properly. Oh, he, may, he, got, he didn't have the stiff upper lip, I don't think, on that particular play. But here he starts leaning early. Meow. Wow. And I just love the body control by Love. Yes. Man. Must jump stop or at least be under control. So Fields is on the bench, being tended to by Tony Salisi, the trainer. So easy. You were talking about the ties with Sean Miller and this Pitt team. The trainer for Pitt was in Sean Miller's wedding party. And, and I asked Tony, what did he give him? Uh, he said, well, I wasn't making very much money back then. I don't remember. Ten and a half to go. Young has 17. And that was Blair. Oh, a little shove, a little nudge. Sure was. And uh, Love with a good job keeping him off the glass. Raymond. In and out again. Look at these guys. At I love it. There's Blair with yet another rebound. He's been sensational in this half. What he does, he screens and then he loads up in here to do the damage. He can make that little jumper at that time. Boy, they've run cold. Yeah. A lot of energy dissipated with their aggressive play early. And Xavier hasn't been able to take advantage lately. B.J. Raymond. Oh, they're, they're Gilbert Brown maybe on that cut. Ashton Gibbs. Oh, was it Gibbs? Yeah. Okay. Wednesday on CBS, celebrities go undercover to pull off the greatest April Fool's jokes ever in the new special, I Get That A Lot, Wednesday on CBS, America's Most Watched Network. A long time getting it in, and they got it. Now they got a timeout. Nice ah. save by Sean. Near the five second count. Xavier by one. Watch live bookends, in game highlights, and more all day on NCAA March Madness Central, powered by Pontiac. That's tomorrow at 7 o'clock only on the CBS College Sports Network. Now the attempted inbounds again by Xavier with a one point edge. Up. Oh, got to make that. And again, rolls off the rim. What a great play set up by Sean Miller in a run out. Young, how about the pass from Dixon? But they miss again. Blair tracks it down. Reload. Here's Dixon. And a good coming effect. Now run your set. Fifteen remaining, Xavier by one, Gibbs. They have really gone frigid here offensively after an energetic start to this half. And at the other end, how about that counter, huh? The blow by, by Jackson. And a quick timeout by Jamie Dixon. He's not real happy. They've got a great play for Gibbs on the jumper. It ends up in a run out. Pittsburgh has missed its last ten shots. Well, if you're a connoisseur of offensive excellence, uh, this is probably not your not your night. 17% for Xavier in this half. Pittsburgh having uh, missed its last 10, hitting 21%. Well, I'm in love with the pursuit of excellence here. It's the accomplishment that's the problem right now. Xavier switching the D to the 1-3-1. This gave hit a few problems in that first half. Going to have to attack the gaps. Getting into the post, you're going to have to look opposite. There's the pump fake. Brown. Charge. Oh, gets the call. I'll tell you, that was excellent offensive basketball right there. And they got the late step in. 
And Brown with an excellent read. Had a choice to go opposite or put it on the deck. Well, uh, here is where Pitt has struggled tonight at the free throw line. Dante Jackson just picked up his fourth. Now they're eight of 14 at the line. Jackson sits with his fourth foul. And Terrell Holloway has taken his place. And that limits your flexibility. We talked about the ability to pressure a guy like Fields. Now it rests in Holloway's hands. One point game, 8.41 to go. Trell on the cutter just a little bit. That can be dangerous. Love out on the perimeter. Look at Again, Trell in the cutter cost him. Uh, twice Dixon was tardy. He didn't lead his guy. Three point margin. LeVance feels back on the floor. B.J. Raymond has 13 points in this game. Now Fields with Holloway, little yo-yo effect. Turn around, boy, tough. that's a tough shot. Look at this spin. And he gets the basket. How about him manhandling the interior? Goodness. So quiet in the first half, Bill. Boy, well, you need some family help when he's down there. He's got 14 rebounds in the game now. Ten of them in this half. A nice little double screen to get Raymond to catch. Wide open, McLean kicks it way outside the hallway. Anderson wanted it low post. Wants it again. Raymond takes the jumper. Tough That's shot. off the mark. And a great defensive set that time. And Xavier Help with the quick jack there. Blair, 15 rebounds. Dixon, very strong. How about that? Going right. We've seen him do that during this year for a lefty unusual and with incredible speed pursuing the 10. Monday on CBS, there's a new girl next door and the Big Bang boys couldn't be happier. Catch a new Big Bang Theory, Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. I'm sure he'll be watching, don't you think? How about that? He's got the St. Patrick's look in Boston. <laughs> Bill Murray. Chicago man, right? And a Xavier fan. And, and uh, of course, Tommy Heinsohn in the building as well. The yes. former Celtic great and pal of yours and mine. Well, we had a chance to have a two-hour breakfast with Tom Heinsohn this morning, and it was great, great to see him and again. You, and you broke your record. You picked it up. <laughs> you were clean for the year. Uh, Tommy lost his wife, Helen, the, the lovely lady we all love. She died of cancer back in November. And, just great to see him for the first time since Helen's death. Sure was. That pal and she's the doll. Underneath, threes. Yeah. He doesn't have great skills handling the ball. Raymond, he does. Tough shot. And look who's in at the shot clock. How about that? Jamie Dixon wants to say <laughs> no basket, but anytime it misses the rim, the advantage is to the offensive team. Yeah, Dixon's hollering. Xavier by one, 6.25 to go. Turn around, oh dear. There was a sense of confidence I don't know was justified. Dixon is still hollering about the shot clock. Uh, is it out of his hands or not? Of course, they make the call. Uh, it might be, that's pretty close. Time call. Hit down by one, 6.19 to go in this one. And they will inbound the ball now, LeVance Fields. Looks for Young. Timeout. They're playing beat the clock. Both teams with one timeout left now, and we've still got 6.19 to go in regulation fields. Oh, so Young was there, and he didn't see him. And the ball was kicked. We have a 619 remaining and a one point Xavier lead thus far in this ball game. Nine ties, 11 lead changes. Pittsburgh down by eight at the half. They actually fought back and took a lead. But uh, both teams are shooting miserably here in the second half. Five of 22 for Xavier. 
Six of 23 for Pitt. Will you draw an out of bounds play, please? <laughs> it's been about five times they've been able to get it in. Amazing. In my spare time. And earlier, Pitt, I'm going to do that in between promos. <laughs> earlier, Pitt was very efficient. They're scoring on inbounds plays. Look at this. Oh, kind of yes. Wow. Put it on the deck. And you always talk about what he can do around the rim, Brown, but he can explode. Put it on the deck and get to the rim. And we welcome all of you to Boston, those of you who are watching Econ and Purdue, as the Huskies in turmoil away from the court, won tonight, and advance to the Elite Eight. Both times they've won, by the way, they've advanced out of the West. Their two national championships. Pittsburgh looking for its first ever. This is the first time they've been a number one seed. There's the jumper off the glass. Dixon. And Pittsburgh has tough it up defensively to get in control of the game just a little bit. Xavier's offense not quite as efficient. They've got away from Brown. He's the guy that's provided a great lift for the Xavier team. Nice underneath. Ready. Blair, no. Dips keeps it alive. How about the second half that DeWan Blair is at? Incredible, and that was just a strength basket. That was the speed and elevation that was lacking in a lethargic first half as Fields gets the small change. Double, double again for Blair now. He's got 10 points and 16 rebounds. 12 of those rebounds in this half. Did you see him move and the defender at least a foot? I mean, that big chest banging guys. Blair had 27 and 16 in the first game of the tournament, that hard fought victory over East Tennessee. Oh. Here we go, Dixon. Oh, just oh, no. He got caught between a little, <laughs> a little present. He's hurt too. Well, he got caught between showboats. Let me give a towel to get the egg off the brown. Oh, mercy. And Blair almost got a small one now. Blair Fields gets another one. Wow. Wanamaker's going to come in, and I'm guessing it's going to be for Dixon. How about this one, though? Oh, goodness, just get the deuce. Well, look at, look at Fields saying, come on, get up, get up, get back. And this is one where this will be brought up at some point by oh. his pals. Now, Dixon's not going to look at him. That's one Dixon that doesn't get along with the other Dixon no. for a moment. Largest lead of the game for Pitt. It's at five. Nice. McLean, another miss from close range. And that, that's what Blair does, though. It's the physical contact that jars you. You don't come down and balance it. Now you think he's going to attack you again. And instead, he's just going strong. And that's the tough-mindedness that Sean Miller was looking for. McLean, left side. And this is a tough match. Two terrific players. Redford. There, you there go. it is. Well, they talked about his ability from deep, and he had a couple open looks in the first half. You can't leave him alone. Redford hitting 47% over the season from three-point range. He's one for three tonight, and the margin of difference is two. Outside, Fields. Oh, nice hustle. Almost yeah. got it. An assist, too. Jackson looking the other way. For Redford. Dante Jackson on the floor with four fouls. Gilbert Brown will inbound. Jason Love back on the floor now for Sean Miller's senior team. Gilbert Brown, Young, Fields. Wanamaker and Blair on the floor for Pitt. Oh, he threw it behind Gilbert Brown. Had a chance for the Musketeers to tie or take the lead. They do a great job of spreading the shooters in the corners and then running ball screens. Here comes one. Love providing the lift. Blair with a hedge. Ball on the floor. Tough shot. Raymond. They got a foul. He's fouled by Brown. Well, Gilbert not happy with it, but uh, just hang it a little bit deeper. And we mentioned. The unerring ability of a kid who can ring the bell with the best of them. Big time delivery. Redford. All right, Greg, thank you. B.J. Raymond at the line for Xavier. Shooting two. UConn, as we mentioned a moment ago, their two national titles came when they were out west. Raymond hits one. B.J. Raymond, a senior from Toledo, Ohio.
A very talented performer, can spin, pull up, jumper. Three, ability three, from three, we know. And they step into jumpers on offensive rebounds. That's what got them going in the first half. Now, struggling on the offensive glass because Blair, in particular, has stepped up. 3.46 to go, we're tied. Raymond has 15. It's Levance Fields, Young, Brown, Blair, and Dixon is back on the court now. Here's Brown. Fields, guarded by Dante Jackson, playing with four fouls. High screen set by Blair. And he gets right to the box. Young puts it on the floor. Drives strong in and out. Tipped to Xavier. Terrific effort. Jackson, Love, Derek Brown, B.J. Raymond, and C.J. Anderson for the Musketeers. Brown, the guy who could make that and put it on the deck. Don't forget about Anderson around the rim if he gets a touch. Jackson comes back out, grabs it, gets it to Brown. He can elevate over his fields, and he does. I don't know if he wanted that one. Taken down by Gilbert Brown. Thought he should have dribbled them into a spot where we had a 15-footer. And plumb bomb over fields. Four previous times in this decade, Pitt has been in the Sweet 16. Four previous times. They've come up empty. They've never made it to the Elite Eight. And Blair tracks it down and tips it to fields. And he's pulled the string on that hook a few times on his duck in. Let's going to do a better job. Don't let the big guy own him down there. Young Dixon. Here's Young. Spins. Tough defense. Blair. Rebound. Derek Brown. Great defense is right. Well, stood him right up. Two to go. And a spot in the Elite Eight. Jackson. There's Young. Off the glass and good. How about the patience? Let everybody get up and then deliver it. The use of the dribble to perfection. Seven unanswered for the Musketeers, who had an eight-point lead at the half, missed their first ten shots of the second half. Here's Brown, back to Dixon. Peace. Blocked. Oh, heave to the other end. Nobody's running right after sure. it. Brown's on the line. What must he have been thinking to throw that? You know, it was interesting. Only had two teammates on the baseline. He could have dumped it to an Anderson. And you just see the hustle, and he did get the foot. Great coverage by the officials, Joe Lindsay that time. And that's a long way to run from one end of the court trying to keep up with these young guys. One ten to go. Must keep Blair off the glass. Ball screen, slip, empty side, and off the foot. So stay in control. That was love. 15 on the shot clock, one minute to play. Top Jumper, shot. no! Oh! Yes! How about this kid? Leadership quality. Oh, early. And it's... Man, oh man! Oh, <laughs> Bird! What'd you think? The courage! Nylon deep by the guard! Game summary, third row, right side. One of eight. Second half, three point field goals made by Pitt. None bigger than this. Well, oh, God, if you're thinking of getting to the eight, that is a. Feels of dreams, right? How about the conversion from deep? Big goals he makes. 45 seconds to go. Xavier down by one. Here's Brown. They look for Love. He's not that much of an offensive threat. Low post. Now Raymond. 34 seconds to go. Raymond drives. Brown defending. Here's Redford. Oh, oh still oh. stolen by Fields. Redford back. Fields up. Two more. Pet. And Vern, most of that was Blair, believe it or not. Defensively, Fields took advantage. He had Redford anticipated, but the show by the big fella leads to a breakout. Fields for three first, then the deuce. 
They'll take it. Well, Vern, they just, when you show on any kind of a ball screen, you don't want to foul, but how about the deflection, the long arms of Blair? We talked all year about his wingspan. He came in handy there and feels anticipating Redford in the distance of the corner. This kid has just stepped up in an extraordinary fashion, first with the tray and then the gobbling up of the loose ball. Up by three, 23.9 to go. Should they foul? I, I would not do it right now. Okay. You know, I, 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 I'm saying under 10, if they hold it that long, then I would do that. Redford's on the floor. He's the three point specialist, one of three tonight. Brown is two of four tonight. And they got to score quickly unless they're going to get stuck. Holloway. Uh oh, the reach. Foul on Blair. Blair. That's three. And we are in the bonus one and one. That's the worst part of it. You know, you just keep them away, move, take away the baseline, get yourself over into that position, and uh, don't reach in. Well, he made a great deflection earlier. Thought he could get away with it again. Holloway at the line over the course of the season, 79%, but he's only attempted 19 in the last 17 games. He gets the first. And they got to be prepared now. What they want to do, what kind of press they want to get themselves into. And give it. No. Young with a rebound. Yeah, they do. Smart. And they got a guy in the free throw line now. 72%, pretty solid. You know, the more you look at Pitt, they may not look attractive at times, but they seem to reach back at key moments. And different guys step up in a terrific fashion. Well, I think of our conversation again with Dewan Blair last week in Dayton, and he said, uh, we may not look pretty, but we, we win. Right, right. Well, they, they struggled in both games last week in Dayton. They won it, East Tennessee State, and against Oklahoma State. They have struggled tonight, but they've got a splendid athlete at the line right now, Young. He's two for two tonight. Now, this is the one that decides what they want to do. If he misses it, or you're getting into that 10 second category over half court, I would not let them tie it with a three. I'd give it. And if he can make this, you play solid D, force him to go for the quick deuce. Young is three for three at the free throw line this evening. No timeouts remaining for either team, and a four point margin for Pitt. Holloway, the switch. Derek Brown, way outside, long rebound. Didn't need it. Pitt's got it. And at long last, with 2.6 seconds, it appears the wait is over. And Fields went and ruffled Dixon's hair. I think you got to go, you're on that even number. You know, put it on the deck, get to the rim, give the foul, stretch the game out, and just. You know, a terrific effort by Xavier to get it. Jamie had to refix his hair. Fields went over and ruffled it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think he was ruffled early. And whatever he did at halftime, he energized his team. Jamie got them to perform at an optimum. Dante Jackson just fouled out. Wanamaker's at the line where this evening he is three of five. Just a tough-mindedness about this team, Vern. I mean, some teams can look pretty and, and, and put you away. But they are efficient in rendering a loss to you. McLean is back on for the Musketeers of Xavier. Pittsburgh failed in the final, the Sweet 16 in 2002 and three. They're about to get their first trip to the Elite Eight. And Shaw Miller just hugged Raymond, and rightfully so. Such a solid kid, first team all, Atlantic 10. One of two. Nevertheless. Mm. Tough one for Sean and the Musketeers, and a gut check for Jamie Dixon and his kids. Levance Fields had a marvelous three-pointer from way downtown. Then a steal and a layup, and Pittsburgh into the Elite Eight first time ever. They'll take on the winner of the Villanova-Duke game 
That's going to come up here. When it most mattered, LeVance Fields came through. 14 points, six assists, the big three-pointer to give Pitt the lead, then the steal and the layup, and they are our Chevrolet players of the game, Derek Brown for Xavier, and LeVance Fields for Pitt.